All right, guys, going up in the air, we're gonna take a look underneath this 2024 Performance Package Mustang GT and see maybe a couple of things that are different than the S550, guys. Let's check it out. Um, what, oh, check this, let me see the light. Like so this spot right here is actually not just an open space in the grill. That's the So we're here at HPR and we've got my 2024 Mustang GT you guys saw revealed in the last video now We have access to a lift. So we're gonna take advantage We're gonna get underneath of this new Mustang and see what's different. Everybody wants to compare them to the s550 we're gonna see what's under the skirt, if you will, of this all new Mustang and see if it's all new or have they just passed down parts from the previous gen. Let's find out, let's take a look, let's go. Yeah, we killed a few bugs on the way up here. It's all good. Look at that, yeah, look how smooth this is. That's all different. That's like a better material right there. Y'all keep making fun of me, I'm gonna keep y'all shot. Look, this is all like a like a carpety. I say y'all, I didn't do it. Um, air deflection here. What's all this rust, man? I uh, hope not. It is a first year car, you know. Wouldn't that's surprise like. me. Oh, we back went back. That's right. No more composite. Yeah. I do like that part of it. Oh, look, we got the orange. Yep. Does that excite you? They Xander? just they just robbed parts off the Mach One. <laughs> is all they did. Well, this this steering shaft is supposedly right off the Mach One. Resonator ain't as big. So this is pretty cool. Yeah. Resonator's not as big. Not as big. Nowhere near. That might be why it's a little louder. What? Yeah, it's the same size. Is it the same? Is it the same size? It's, it's like the same. What are you talking Hold about? up. Let's compare them. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay, it's the same. They ain't gonna reinvent the wheel for a No, resonator. it's a half inch shorter. No. It, it, it did look a little shorter. <laughs> they ain't gonna reinvent the wheel for a resonator. But these cars do sound different than the other active cars, S550s. I think they changed something in the mufflers. Okay. What you say? I don't know how I feel about it. The bolt pattern on the headers are different. I know that much. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> but then again, it is kind of nice how they design it and try to keep the air out underneath it. Did you see you see this right here? Yeah. So we've got a panel there, panel there, that's all different, right? And you got a panel back here, kind of like the Shelby cars. Oh shit, you did don't you? Yeah. Mm. Pretty interesting. I thought the we already have a panel that goes all the way down the uh, Hey Phil, come check this out. I'm gonna show you something blow your mind. Look at that. It's like a counterweight. Oh, I don't know. That's for like that wheel that, hop or NVH or something. They have those on the GT 350s as well. No, not they do. That, not that similar style, but it. it, it looks, they have counterweights back there. Yeah. Oh, you got 373s. Let me get your diff. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Let me get it. You can see where the. You, you can hanger, have it. The hanger placements. Okay. Fifty-eight thousand dollars. Comes comes with the car. Yep. Okay. So I heard that those metal, um, tow links come in this car. I think that might be it right there. See, does this come with uh, 350 axles? Non so, before in the old S550s, right, you could drive a Magna Ride versus a non, you could really tell the difference. This like one, I, I couldn't. I, I drove a Magna Ride and then this one, both performance package. And then after driving this, I was like, I don't really see the reason for it. But you see that counterweight up there? What that? It's yeah. NVH. NVH, yeah. That's I exactly what that's for. Okay. So what Ford does is when you, they start having abnormal noises or whatever, they just hang something like that out there and it counters it and... Shuts it up. Interesting. So for NVH, have you ever noticed that? Okay. They just did, instead of having that small one up here, they just got this and then that. So it's like an S550, just a little better. Yeah. Cooks has got headers. If anybody needs them, you can hit up HPR automotive. Uh, oh, 100%. <laughs> Use code Zender13 at discount. Save some money. Still, Roy, we add 10%. Oh. Yeah, use the Xander discount. <laughs> use the Xander. We like saving money. Or if you just want to hit me up for, you know, maybe a Well, yeah, you're a distributor for like everything. Everything. So. We got, we're got. we in with UPR now. Uh, we're in with Whipple, ESS. Yep. Uh, you name it, we're in. We're there. If we're not, we can be. So. Yep. I just now noticed uh, the reverse lights are actually more narrow and longer. It's brighter too. It's all LED. These hangers look identical. Okay. That hanger right there, this piece right here looks identical. Well, yeah, but what about the hanger off of 
Yeah, well, I mean, that's, it's, I don't know. Like I said, that, that does look, a, I don't know. I had, you know how long it's been since so I should pay attention to a stock muffler. Right. You look like it was on my car. So, Xander, overall, how long have you been having this car for? Yeah, okay, whenever you say Two weeks? Awesome. How do you like it? Yeah, I love it. Well, I mean, it's aggressive looking. Yeah, it is, a, it's a mean looking car. Everybody that sees this thing in person, because they, they all haters. I was a hater too. Until I saw one in person, I was like, oh, wait a minute, I was wrong, right? Says that, they see it in person, they're like, wow. It's kind of like when I first seen the S550 in 2015. Yeah, everybody forgot about, like right. Online, you see in person, it's different. It. I was like, dude, this thing is sharp. Same thing in 2018. Everybody saw the 2018s when they came out, and it was like, oh, that's ugly. You see in person, and it's like, wow, much better. What's different now? All this for the... Your brakes are, your brake brakes are up here. Uh -huh. Your parking brakes back it, here. Yes, it's all Whereas from the caliper. On the S550, it's all in one. Your, it's all in one. Right. Your, it's all back here. So the regular brake, so you can see the brake line, and then you see your electronic. So you got your electronic actuator. This is your electronic motor for your actuator for the uh, parking brake. Kind of like a Shelby three, yeah. or GT500. Yeah. So head, it's yeah. all back here, and then your brakes up there. And so looking at that. Of course the knuckle of course the knuckle is going to be completely different well what's weird is if you look at your this is this is a new vertical link i was about to say your i just looked at that yeah go here so this yeah this is all new, different right here vertical link yeah but it's yeah so it's different but it's pretty cool just looking at everything and, and looking at what interesting yep at first glance you wouldn't really notice but that is totally different so we got a stock axle here yeah trying to see if they're any different we were hoping they'd be gt350 well, well some the, of the manual cars got a little different axle right back in the day than the well the dark horse is de definitely going to have that because the mach 1 had it well the thing about it is see how this is going to step up yep okay this is a stock axle like see how you don't have a step up uh it's, it's hard to say just by that i'd have to it's hard to say can we turn this wheel Can you see the CB is the last two? This is a BA, but so, so a different part number. Looking like it is on the other manual where they did a 350 axle, but they upgraded yeah. the axles. Not sure what, but see how this one jumps up. These are the whole one that's got the hollow in it. Yep. And notice how that one doesn't jump up. Right. And the passenger side never jumped up. No. no that's a regular passenger. But the driver's side. So they moved. Um, they moved the ground off of the motor mount. Put it here instead. I like that better. Yeah. So that's a little different. It almost seems like there's more room here now. I wonder if the starter actually looks different. It is. It is different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a whole different design starter. Let's see what else can we find? Got a lot more room in here. That's what I'm saying. It's like it's not as cool. Well, the thing with it is, you ain't got that. You ain't got that plastic oil pan. Well, that's true. Maybe it's yeah, because it's like narrower. Mm -hmm. um, what else can we what find? Mean, um, what, oh, check this. Let me see the light. The whole header design is completely different. Yeah, they, they it's not just a different bolt pattern. Yeah. It's it's a completely different routing. Yeah, they changed it up. Interesting. It's almost like a little shorty header. See, like they flattened it out right here. Yeah, that's unique. But uh, yeah, get us a get us a header. Put on. Steve picked up like forty horsepower. Yeah, dyno. I need a dyno so I can start doing before and afters. I mean, we have a dyno. We were just at one. I know. I'm talking about my own. We should have put this on the dyno. We're in the works. We're in the works. Oh, you need a dyno here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're yeah. in the works with this band. And we got, the, we got a bunch of stuff going on. Oh, you know what else is different? Look at this. See this hole? Yeah. That's totally different uh, um, fender liner. This used to come down to here, and this used to come up, and this met. met. Now with this piece, it's 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 all the different. Corner, so you have this open part right here. Yeah, you can actually see the fuel systems I install. If the way I route them, if you had that open like that. Yeah, that's cool. And then same way over here. It's so, unique just to see what the different little little things they change. Yeah. Oh, check it out! It's got the whole thing from like the Mach One. Yeah. It's an actual brake cooling like duct. Mm -hmm. Because that's a whole cooler. tube. So you got your old cooler right there. Yep. No. That did not know that. That's pretty freaking cool. I like it. So this spot right here is actually not just an open space in the grill. That's the brake cooling duct that has a full tube that goes all the way down to that hole. Just like 
the Mach 1, for example. That's... Yeah, you see the light shining through there? Yeah. Yep. That's wild. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's pretty freaking trippy, dude. And your old cord right here. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but there's oil. Yep, yeah, I saw your light. There's oil colors. Yep, there you go. Very cool. All right, guys, so a little uh, under the skirt peek here at the all new S650 Mustang. Something that other YouTube channels may not be showing you. It's just kind of interesting to be able to get under here and check everything out, see what's different because everybody's saying, oh, it's just an S550 on steroids. Well, yes and no. My thing is, like I've been saying, if you like the S550, you're going to love the S650. And there is some cool stuff passed down from the other the cars. Reason, the reason everybody's fighting the, the, the 650 is because it can't be tuned right now. Well, that's gonna come in time. Like me, as they become uh, tunable, that's when everybody will gravitate towards the car. Yeah, once 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 you can tune them, long day. Everybody's gonna want one oh, yeah. of these. I mean, yeah. everybody right now is like bagging on them and stuff like that. And the only reason, the only reason, the only reason I don't have one right now for a shot car is because you can't tune it. Because I can't tune it. So but it makes, it makes no sense. But I gotta tell you, the stock Ford calibration in these cars though is pretty good. Yes. Right. It's, I've so, heard. I've heard from more than one tuner that i've talked to has said that, that what they can see yeah there's not going to be a whole lot as far as horsepower big like top end horsepower rise they can do on so like if you wanted a 93 tune but i want to see when these on the 85 opened up yes that's what see. different cams all those different things inside of the new gen 4 coyote so it says 550 plus which is not a bad thing. Everybody loves the S550, so why not love the 24s? And when tuning is available, everybody's gonna gravitate towards one of these. So I'm pretty blessed and uh, pretty thankful to have an S650 now as a personal car, so we can tell the journey, share the story, and go from there. Yeah, we're good, clear. So guys, dark outside, we're about to head to the track. Uh, I'm gonna take this, I don't know if we're gonna run it yet or not. Miles is still pretty low, we're still breaking her in, but guys, Anyway, so we're gonna wrap up the video. So interesting, the things that we did find, the things that we did see underneath of the all new Mustang. So lots of little Easter eggs here and there. So kind of an S550 in a way, but improved upon, kind of like what we expected. So lots of little things about this car really kind of make it its own thing. So if you've never been around them or if you've never driven them, and if you've never seen all the little things about these new Mustangs, then you just don't know. I mean, you really got to be around these cars. And it's really cool to be able to bring you this kind of content from an ownership perspective. We're not just some guy that's going on a test drive. This car is going to get some love on this channel. We're going to do some cool things with it. Big, what do you think? Said, talk to me. Talk to me. I don't know how much you're going to leave earlier in the video because sometimes I get tongue-tied, but it's okay. No, no. All but, we did was we just walked but, around. But and, anyway, the reason it's getting so much hate right now is it cannot be tuned. That's, that's it. That's the reason it's getting so much hate. I've driven these cars. I've been in these cars. And honestly, I would love to have one for the shop, but right now it's not tunable, so it doesn't make sense. That's why we got the 22, and who knows what happens when they become tunable. I will probably be looking to get one for the shop. So will everybody um, else. Yeah, but, and then again, you know, we'll, we'll still see where we end up with. I, I, it is growing on me at first when it came out, but I had a 14 GT when the S550 came out, and I could not stand the S550. The minute I seen the S550, I loved it. Same thing with this, I've had, right? I've had nine of them between yep. 15. Well, I've had to five. 22. I've had nine. And I've had five. And I've I've, I've loved. I've had twin turbo. I've had Whipple. I've had ESS. ESS now. Yep. Um, I've had a uh, Roush yep. on the 17. Yep. So I've had several different combinations. I absolutely love the S550 platform, the S650. Is it just an S550? And the answer, my answer, after 1,500 miles so far of driving and owning this car is no, it's not. It's a whole different car and you're yeah. not gonna get that from just doing a couple of laps behind your dealership on a test drive. No. You have to own the car, you have to push the car, and I can tell you, like with the performance package, this thing is way better than last year's S550 PP car. What, you gotta just pay attention to the videos that come out from owners. From me, from Stang Mode, some of the others that actually have these cars that are actually gonna race them, drive them, and tell you the difference. And we're not just new to the Mustang. I've had five S550s, 
you've had nine. Mm -hmm. Staying Mode's had like 30. You know, so <laughs> the things that we say are gonna be truthful and valid. Well, you know what I'm saying? So yes, you can't tune them yet. That will be coming. We all know that it will. But the stock calibration in this 486 crank horsepower car is pretty good. It honestly is. Well, I mean, the same reason you had the S5, S650 is the same reason I put an ESS on my car. I kept having customers ask me, what about the ESS? What about the ESS? And I'm like, there's some information out there. There's not a, there's not a tremendous amount. So when we picked up the 22 Mustang, uh, we decided to throw an ESS on it and put it through its paces. And that's right now, that's what we're doing, is putting it through its paces. But I had to own it to know. Yeah, you got customers reaching out, want to spend money on a blower or this or that. Mm -hmm. And what a better way. Over here. I'm re redoing my shop, so. No, it's fine. Look uh, at this, this yeah. is better. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, the, the, my point is, what better way to give a honest opinion to, you have to own that car I have to own it. you yeah. have to own it that's what we're doing here guys i'm a mustang lover we've had a ton of them over the years and this is the all new generation this is what it's going to be whether you like it or not this is the all new s650 seventh generation mustang it's not like ford's going to make this go away and go back to the s550 or something different next year this is it guys so you might as well just jump on board or hold on to what you got but once tuning becomes available you bet your butt, Wingard Performance is going to be all over this, and we're going to have it built here at HPR. Guys, come check them out. Links in the video description. This is the only man that I trust to work on one of my cars. We've had, uh, we've had cars from uh, 19 different states. We just had our 20th state, actually Connecticut, uh, that actually ordered parts from us and booked in, booked in with us. So we're up to 20 states. Yep that we've had customer from, and it's crazy. People ask me all the time in the comments and also on Instagram, other social media that I have, is the wor is the trip worth it for your shop? And if I, you live like way far I'm in the answer, yes. I'm not gonna tell you, but uh, you're welcome to go online and, and speak to my customers. They're all out there, all over the place. And Florida, they're all going fast. Florida, New Mexico, uh, Texas, and I tell everybody, ask my customers. Yeah. I, I don't have any complaints, and we go above and beyond to make sure you're taken care of. Yep, so. All righty, we're going to end the video here. We're um, with twins on it, right? Well, I don't know what we're going to do. We <laughs> might do something different, but we're going to continue exploring this car and seeing what are the little things that we can find. Yeah, we got a whole new engine here, two intakes, yada, yada. You guys know all about it. Well, the best part about this entire car is it's got hood struts, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> It's like yeah, it's all factory, baby. It's all stock. Stock and unmolested as of yet. We'll see what the future holds, guys. But stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you subscribe and get ready for all the content to come surrounding this all new seven generation Mustang. Guys, I'm very excited and happy to have you here on the channel. Make sure that you are subscribed. Pretty pleased. It just helps us to grow. It's free. God bless everybody. See you guys later. Till next time. Bye.